So consider these three sets. A, the set of all even numbers, B, the set 2, 4, 6, and C, the set 2, 3, 4, 6. Are each of these statements true or false? Now to, to understand this, we're going to need to talk a little bit about sets. So a set is simply a collection of objects uh, that contain elements of that set. There's two ways to describe sets. One is this way, using a sort of verbal description or description of what the set contains. And then the other is using this notation where the curly brackets uh, indicate we're going to list some stuff uh, and then this lists the contents of the set. Now it's also possible to have a set that doesn't contain anything and that is called the empty set which is usually denoted like that. Uh, but that doesn't come into this particular problem. So, so the first question here asks, is this true? Now to understand this, we're going to need to know what this symbol is, and this symbol means element of. So this says 2 is an element of B. In other words, is 2 an element of the set B? Well, the set B contains 2, so yes, this is, this is true. Now if I was to ask is, you know, 7 an element of the set B, then of course that would be, that would be false. Now this second statement here, uh, again we need to know what the heck this symbol means. Uh, so this symbol means, means subset of, uh, and more correctly it is a proper subset of. Now the idea of a subset is that if you have a, a bunch of items, uh, let's say here is, is a big set of items, then a subset is a smaller collection that contains elements from the larger set. That's the idea of a subset. Uh, so if we were to look at the set A here, A is the set that contains all even numbers. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, so on and so forth. So is B a subset or is it contained within the set of A? And you'll notice that the elements from B, 2, 4, and 6, all do in fact exist inside set A. So this is, is true. Now if we were to ask, let's say, is B a subset of C, even though some elements of, oh, actually it looks like all of the elements of B do exist in C and so this would also be true. Now if we asked, is C a subset of A, this is false because C contains an element that is not part of A and therefore uh, it is not a subset. Now I called this a proper subset because there's a second notation which looks like this and this is just the generic subset of. Uh, this little line underneath it implies equality, kind of like a less than or equal to sign. Uh, so if we could say that B is a subset of B because they actually end up, are, they're, they're actually equal. Uh, and so we could correctly write this. It would not be correct to write B is a proper subset of B because they're actually equal, so that's not true. But this is just fine. So consider these, these sets and we want to know, uh, we want to find these things. Now in order to talk about these things, we're going to need to, to understand what they are. So first off, this symbol here, this U-shaped symbol, is the symbol for a union. So the idea of a union is that it combines two things together. So the union of sets A and B will take everything from A and combine it with everything from B. So we will have the red, green, and blue from set A and we'll combine that with everything from set B. Now we already have red so we don't need to list it twice and there is the union of sets A and B. The, again the idea behind unions is, is sort of in a visual form if this is the set A and this is the set B we're talking about 
everything that's contained in either set here. We want everything. Uh, there happens to be some overlap here with the word red, but we want everything, so we're unioning or combining these two sets together. All right, and then our second symbol here, this one is the symbol for an intersection. And just like where two roads cross, the intersection is the part that they share, the intersection of two sets are the elements that exist in both sets. So this is where the two sets overlap. Uh, again, in our visual form, if here's the set A and here's the set B, this time we're interested in this, the part that is in both sets. Uh, in this case, the intersection of A and B, uh, the only element that is in both sets is red, and so that is the extent of A intersect B. Now for the third one here, we need to talk about this symbol. Uh, when we write A with the little c here, the little c means complement, which is another way of sort of saying the opposite of. Uh, opposite of, uh, or, or everything else. So A complement, it means everything that's not in A. Now sometimes we have sort of a universal set which defines everything that we're talking about, and we'll see an example of that in a second. But in this case, we just have, uh, A complement. So we think of this as, as not in A. So we're looking for everything that's not in A, that intersects with C. So from a, again, visual point of view, we're looking for everything that's not in A, right? So outside of A, but that intersects with or is also in C. So it needs to be inside C, but not inside A. So we're looking for this stuff here. We're looking for the stuff that's not in A, but is in C. So C is the list of all these colors here. We want the ones that are not in A. So we don't want red, we don't want green, we don't want blue. We just want the other ones. So that would be orange, yellow, and purple. Now, as I mentioned, it's sometimes we have a universal set defined. So in this case, the universal set in other words, everything that we're talking about is the set of numbers from 1 to 9. In that case, we can talk about the complement all by itself. So if A is the set 1, 2, 4, then A complement would be everything that's in the universal set that's not in set A, and so that would be the numbers 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. That's everything that's not in A, but that is part of the universal set. So in this problem, we want to create an expression to represent the outline part of the Venn diagram shown. So we have this little piece of the Venn diagram um, outlined here. Um, and so we need to think, what does that include? So we can see that this, that the values here are in both sets H and F. So we could start by writing, perhaps, H intersect F because H intersect F would include uh, everything that is in both sets H and F. But that's H intersect F is too much. It looks like we want everything that's in this H intersect F set except for this part. So how could we exclude that part? Well, what we really need to do is exclude the part that's in W. And we can do that by intersecting this with W complement. In other words, we're intersecting it with not in W. So this says take everything that's in H, and it's also in F, and it's also not in set C, and this expression here will nicely represent uh, this set here. Now this is, I will say, not the only way to represent this, but it's certainly um, one way and a relatively nice way. So we actually already did this a little earlier, but 
I'm going to do it again here. We're going to create Venn diagrams to illustrate A union B, A intersect B, and A complement intersect B. Now, a Venn diagram is uh, a diagram created by using overlapping circles. So I'll have a circle for set A and a separate circle for set B. Uh, and then there's an overlap, or potentially an overlap, between those two sets. So A union B, so A union B is going to contain everything from set A and everything from set B. Uh, so we'll either outline it like that or we could shade it in. And that whole shaded region there is A union B. Now, if again we have sets A and B, and we want A intersect B. These are the elements that are in both sets. So this would be only this little region here. Those are the values that are both in set A and in set B. Finally, for our last one here, we've got A complement intersect B. So again, remember A complement means everything that's not in A. So we're outside of set A, but we're inside of set B. So it's everything that's inside set B that's not in set A. And so it's, that would be this region there. So let's look at one more now, a uh, slightly more complicated one, using a Venn diagram to illustrate this intersection. So now here we have three sets, so we're going to need one, two, uh, three different sets going on here, all overlapping. And it's pretty hard to work with more than three sets with Venn diagrams. It is possible, but we'll limit ourselves to three. So let's start with H intersect F. So remember, H intersect F is, was this region here. Right? It was this area that was in both H and F. Now we want the intersection of, uh, no, so now, now we need the complement of that set. So the complement of, the complement of that set would be everything outside of that little, that little football shaped region. So we don't want that part, we want everything outside of it. Now we need the intersection between that and W. So we need everything in W, we need everything in W here that's not in that little football shaped region. So that's going to be uh, everything down here is fine, everything over here is fine, everything over here is fine. The part that we don't want is this part here. So all together we're going to have Oh, sorry. We're going to have that whole region there as, as that set.